five quick ways to check whether your finance is okay. I'm Eva Wong here, your wealth coach to achieve early retirement. If you wish to learn how to retire early, subscribe to this channel here. When it comes to checking whether your finance is good, most people often judge by how much one is earning or what car he is driving. When you heard someone is earning five or six figure a month, you will automatically think that he is rich. When you heard that someone is driving a big car, you will also think that his finance situation is good too. In fact, it is not always the truth. When it comes to finance, it is not how much money you earn that matters, but how much money you save that matters. When a person is able to buy a big car, it doesn't mean that he or she is rich. You do not know whether he is buying it from the loan, which he or she is struggling to pay off the loan installment every month. Same to a person who can earn well, it doesn't mean that he can save a lot too. If he's spending greatly every month, there could not be much money left in the bank account. So do you think this type of person will have a lot of money after 10 or 20 years? I think the answer is very obvious to you. You want to check whether your finance is okay? These are the five ways. First, you check whether you have three to six months expenses as emergency funds safe in your bank. Without emergency funds set aside, there's no sense of financial security at all. How can you have good finance when there's no financial security? Second, check whether you can save 20% of your income every month for medium and long-term goals. We know that we cannot work forever, so failure to save means we need to work longer. We will not have enough retirement fund we want to retire when we reach our retirement age. It's so critical to save every month, whether you like it or not. Third, check whether your monthly expenses, excluding the loan payment, are less than 40% of your income. If your expenses are more, it's time to review and rebalance. Perhaps you can identify the top three expenses and start reviewing from there. Fourth, check whether you are able to pay off your credit card and monthly loan installment for your car and house loan. Loan interest, especially the credit card, is super high. Missing paying or paying only the minimum payment for the credit card means that your money is working for the bank and it is working against you. It means that it will soon get into a bigger loan that you will find difficulty to pay off. Fifth, check whether you have extra money for your leisure activities for example, like traveling, doing sports, watching movies, buying books, and etc. Having extra money for these activities means that you have lesser stress with your money and you have enough to do what you love. You do not need to take additional personal loan in order to pay off your simple lifestyle. So how many of the items mentioned above you have achieved? If you are unsure about the percentage of your expenses and saving against your income, it is time for you to do some tracking. Find the worksheet at the description below to track your expenses. You cannot improve without tracking the numbers. Let's start doing it now for better financial future. That's all for my sharing this time and I hope you like it and thanks for watching this video and do subscribe to this channel for more early retirement tips. I hope to see you again. Bye!